Hey everybody, uh, it's Mudcat here from 2XP Gaming, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, setting up OBS, downloading it, streaming with it, to get the best quality stream for your Xbox, your uh, PlayStation 4, what have you. Okay, and I'm going to assume that you don't know anything about this. Uh, I'm by no means an expert at OBS or anything else, but uh, this is what I do, and I just kind of want to run you through this, um, maybe to give you a little bit of a, a heads up as to how to use some of this stuff. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get OBS. OBS is open broadcast software. You can get it at obsproject.com. Uh, here we have the download page um, from that website. Okay, and you'll want to choose the studio version. Uh, in my opinion, the classic version is okay, but the studio version is way better. Uh, and I'm not going to run you through how to download that because I'm sure you can figure that out. Okay, so you just you just download the studio. Um, you get that on your computer. All right, we're all good to go. All right, so let me drag over OBS. This is what OBS looks like, and it's going to get a little crazy here because, uh, you know, the screen is uh, being captured, and, and this is on this screen, so it's going to go, you know, forever. Um, but just pay attention to this down down part here, and, and your, your normal image would be whatever you're capturing. So if I took OBS off uh, or if I slid this back over, you can see that it's just my monitor in that box or your Xbox or whatever it is, um, depending on what you have running through there. Um, okay, so I'm going to open this up and just show you how to use it a little bit. Okay, so you're going to get something like this. Uh, once you have everything hooked up, you know, your, your inputs, uh, assuming your Xbox or whatever is run into your PC uh, through a capture card or something like that, or, or you're capturing your screen, it's going to look a little bit like this. Uh, all right, and so let's, let's start by going through the settings. Uh, so I'm going to open File, Settings. I'm actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this over here. And I'm going to bring the settings over here so it's a lot easier. We don't have to stare at that uh, that cluster over there. Okay, so if you're setting up for Twitch, there are several settings you're going to need to go through. This should be the first thing you do when you get in here. Uh, general, you don't really have to do anything. Come to your stream. All right, you'll select your service, which is Twitch. Uh, you'll select your server, which is closer to you. I'm uh, in the central U.S., so Dallas, Texas is the closest server for me. And then you're going to go to your Twitch dashboard, and you're going to download, or not download, you'll copy and paste your Twitch uh, key, your stream key. And you'll paste it right there. Don't share it with anybody, otherwise people are going to be messing with your stream. Um, okay. And so when you come into here, uh, this section, the output, this, this is where it gets a little, uh, maybe a little tricky. It's not super tricky. Um, the bitrate is the big thing you got to be concerned with here. Okay, this recording spot section down here you don't have to worry about unless you want to record things. Um, the streaming you see here, my bitrate's 2500. Okay, now the max bitrate you can have on Twitch if you're not partnered is 3500, but people generally s tend to have a problem viewing your stream uh, if it's anything over like 2500. Um, 2000 is a good level, maybe 2200, depending on what you're doing. Uh, obviously, for some games like first person shooters, you want a higher bit rate, but you kind of have to compromise because without being a Twitch partner, there's only so good your stream can look. And that's just the reality of it. All right, so next here we have this audio uh, bit rate. You can say, save that to whatever you want. It's really not going to make a difference, it's just kind of the audio quality of your stream. Um, and this encoder setting should come default, I believe, on very fast. Now this is kind of tricky. The slower it gets, the better quality your stream gets, uh, or the better quality your output gets. Uh, but honestly, uh, it's, it can be very taxing. Once you move that to faster, fast, medium, slow, it gets more and more taxing on your CPU. Now my, my computer could handle streaming at the, a medium or a slow uh, encoder setting but I generally don't because since I'm not partnered on Twitch again you're kind of capped at what quality you can get and so I don't I don't see it being you know worth the uh, worth the effort or worth the CPU usage uh, when you can be running other things on your computer you know running music on your computer and you know be chatting and all, you know all sorts of other stuff you want to do at the same time as streaming um, and so that's it for all, for the output very simple setup audio um, you'll want to make sure that you know your your audio devices your microphone is set to whatever microphone you're using I use an Audio-Technica 2020 USB mic 
um, and I actually really like it. You can this is the sound quality fr from it on the video unedited. Um, picks up some background noise, but but it's a, it's a good mic overall. Okay, so you can set that up. That's a generally pretty easy. Um, your video settings. Okay, now these are locked uh, because I am using them right now, and they wouldn't normally look like this. Okay, so you'll want to start with your base res resolution, which is a 1080 uh, from from let's say Xbox, because I stream from Xbox. Um, this one will be 1080, but normally on the output scale, this is what's actually going to be on your stream. What quality? Uh, you, I choose the option that uh, scales it down to 720. Um, and the reason you do that is because, you know, Twitch, you're just not going to be able to stream that quality again. So I do 720. It starts at 1080. I scale it to 720 in the second column here. Um, and uh, I use this 32 sample. Uh, you don't have to. That makes your stream a little bit sharper. Um, again, that'll come down to whether or not you have the... the the computer rig you know if you're just doing this on a very basic laptop you're gonna wanna you know not click all the bells and whistles um, and then frames per second now here's the thing being not partnered you can either go with a 1080p stream which is a higher quality stream at 30 frames a second or you can go with the 720 at 60 frames a second I choose to go with the 720 at 60 frames a second because I'm playing first person shooters and I like the way the the 60 first person or 60 frame per second looks versus the 30 frames per second. Some people will say they can't notice a difference. Uh, to me, you know, I don't know. Uh, it looks better to me, so that's what I do, and I sacrifice a little bit of quality. That, to be honest with you, even if you put it at 1080, I don't know that uh, Twitch is going to give you 1080. So. Um, you'll just have to you can you can play around with that either scaling it down to 720 or even lower you can scale it down to 480 or, or you know whatever you want but obviously the higher quality the better it looks um, and you can choose your 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 frames per second value for yourself and this is something you're gonna have to play with a lot you know um, you know depending on you gotta figure out what works for your um, for your stream for your PC for your you know console or what what have you uh, hotkeys you can set all sorts of hotkeys I don't I have a few set just to switch scenes because I have multiple scenes I'll talk about that in a minute um, and then the advanced here the only thing I think I've changed on this advanced is the is the full setting for the color range because I wanted my colors were looked a little washed out so I set this to full um, and then I set my Nvidia uh, in my control panel I set that to full as well for my PC uh, and actually made my stream look a lot better. The uh, it wasn't nearly as washed out. Let's go ahead and put that on silent. Okay, so that's a general rundown of the settings. Um, so now you should be you should be good to go on that. Okay, I know I'm talking fast, but I don't want this to be you know one of those, one of those YouTube videos that goes on forever. Um, Okay, so now that you've gone through the settings, you've set everything up, now it's time to customize your, your stream. Okay, so first thing you want to want to do is get your gameplay. Let's just assume you're using an Xbox. Um, okay, you'll right click here. This will be completely empty. It says display capture. That's, that's what I'm capturing my window with. Um, instead of display capture, I would click add and I would come to a, a video capture device. I would select, you wouldn't have an existing one. Um, you would create a new one by, you know, pushing OK, and then you would select your device, your Elgato or whatever you have, your capture card. Uh, you know, I have my existing, and so if I select the Elgato, and I push OK, now you can see here is Halo. And I know it's kind of full screen for you, um, I think, because it's capturing that, but let me get rid of that real quick. Uh, remove. Okay. Okay. All right, so that's how you add it, and that's how you add everything. Basically, you, you come in here, another video capture device. You'll add your your camera. Um, so here, if I add my camera, you can see me. Okay, so um, let me go ahead and scale this down. Okay, now remember, I got rid of the Xbox screen. I could have because it would fill up this whole thing and, and kind of take over everything. Um, you you want your screen to this will take the place of the the Xbox screen, this OBS screen. Uh, but I'll leave my camera here because uh, I'll show you kind of the the how to use overlays and stuff like that. 
Um, you, you'll see here you have your mixer. You can choose your mixer and you can you can select the audio levels for all your stuff. Um, you can also click on your video capture and you can you can right click on any of these and go to the properties um, and, and do any sorts of, of those kind of tweakings that you want to do. Okay, and over here you start streaming or uh, you could start and stop recording. You could uh, do the studio mode, which gives you two windows side by side. Um, there's all sorts of things you can you can do with this, okay? Um, and there's a settings button, obviously. Okay, so now you've got your camera on here. You're hopefully capturing your Xbox or, or what, what have you. Um, now you want an overlay, okay? You want to put something on your stream that looks kind of cool, uh, whatnot. So you add an image, okay? I'm going to use an existing. Um, I just made this one for a Drunken Halo 1v1 tournament that's coming up, so I'm going to click OK. Um, and you see now it's, you can see it's uh, repeated again, sorry. Uh, I'm going to click on my camera, move it into my camera box, all this stuff. Cool, and I have a, a little box down here I made for text. Let me show you how to use that. Right click here, add text. This is kind of pretty straightforward. The old OBS was a lot more difficult. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with create a new okay when you when you do your text it comes up like this um, you can you know then you type in your text here blah 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 whatever and you push OK now I've already done one so let me uh, let me remove this text and then just add in the one that I made already uh, add the existing rule one I made some drinking rules for our stream um, Okay, now it popped up here. Let me move that down to where it's supposed to be, uh, and I can resize it. Okay, so you can select your, your font and everything uh, for text, and you can use all sorts of text. Now, my text is scrolling. Let me show you here. Right-click on your, uh, your text here. Go to Properties, and then you can set that to... I'm sorry. I don't believe that's, uh, that's correct. Let me... Uh, Filters, sorry, right click on filters. You can add a filter called scroll. Um, and in this scrolling, it allows you to make that go really fast or really slow. See, I can make the text, you can see the text over here going really fast or not at all, you know, really slow, make it go backwards. Um, scroll whichever way you want. I think I had this set at 80 or something like that. Um, so that's, that's something you can do as well. Um, so basically, you know, you, you add in your capture device, this display capture here, which is the window. Add in your camera if you've got one. Um, you can add your overlay, and then you can add any text right on top of that that you want. Um, all right, you can also add in audio capture devices and, and all that, but I'm not going to get into that or media sources because um, this is basically, I think, what you're going to do when you're streaming OBS. Uh, I think that you're just going to have your gameplay, your camera. Uh, any overlay that you made. Uh, if you're if you're wondering how do I make an overlay, um, I use GIMP. It's a free program. Uh, you could Google that. It's GIMP too, and you download it, open it up, you create a or you open a uh, a 1080. You get the right dimensions that your screen's going to be, uh, and then you can you can design stuff. And it takes some learning. There's a lot of learning tools you can you can use out there. A lot of videos and stuff that people show you how and a lot of free resources so it's not too hard to learn and I'm not super creative I just kinda did this today um, but yeah so that's a basic setup of OBS and how it works um, trying to think if there's you know if there's anything else here but uh, for the most part I think that's it I think that's it uh, and you can say oh scenes let's talk about scenes real quick you can see over here it says well, let me get let me get rid of this uh, um, remove this uh, overlay and remove the text let me remove all that so that way we already have enough stuff on our screen uh, I'll remove the video capture device so you don't have to stare at my face anymore or the side of my head um, okay in these scenes let me let me go ahead and show you there's my camera see I have a camera scene uh, my scene one I have my whole uh, setup you're probably seeing this full screen now uh, this is an overlay I've done um, here's a separate image and my camera and everything um, this is the one I've just done you know I just showed you this one okay and obviously another scene here I was just clicking through my scenes here uh, another scene here this scene 2 is is the one you're seeing now 
Uh, and I set those hotkeys so I can just click, you know, the numbers and do that uh, and switch back and forth between scenes. Uh, and so that's how you do that. And to create a scene, you just right click, you click add, um, and you just create a scene. It'll come completely blank. And then you can start right clicking on your sources um, and you can add in all your sources. And remember here, there's a settings button or a properties button for your sources. There's the mixer, each uh, input, audio input, has a, a filters you can create noise gates and all sorts of stuff and properties uh, and you'll want to add in your 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 audio devices yourself um, and all that so I think that pretty much does it I think this is a, a pretty quick and and general overview about how to set OBS up and I hope it's helpful for you um, I know I've gone through a lot of tutorials and, and a lot of it's you know gonna be based on what you need for your computer and for your games uh, and so feel free to play with those settings um, don't worry, OBS will uh, either tell you when your CPU is overheating or it'll completely crash on you and crash your computer uh, and you'll have to reboot it or restart it. So uh, really there's nothing to worry about. You know, you can play with some of this stuff and, and generally you're not going to do anything to, to hurt your rig, I don't think. so. Uh, Alright, so if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Twitter at 2XPGaming uh, and stay tuned for more.